Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the world. Sumatra Island is one of the largest islands in Indonesia and sixth largest island in the world has great economic importance to Indonesia. To realize this economic interest, high connectivity is needed as a top priority. Trans Sumatra Toll Road is one of the most significant projects in Indonesia which serves to connect cities on Sumatra Island from Lampung to Aceh with length of 28-18 km. Based on Presidential Decree No. 100,014, PT Hutama Karya is mandated to complete this mega project from planning to maintenance. One of the segments on Trans Sumatra Toll Road, Binjai to Pangkal Brandan located in North Sumatra, is expected to be access to support connectivity, increased economic growth, and increased tourism potential in North Sumatra and Aceh. The challenge faced in constructing Binjai to Pangkalan Blandan Toll Road can be solved easily without the airplane technology. One technology that has been widely used recently in the construction world is Building Information Modeling or BIM. We implement BIM in each construction phase starting from the preparation, construction, and maintenance phases. Digital survey was carried out during the preparation stage as a first step to capture in the existing field with photogrammetry. Using photogrammetry, an accuracy of 1-2 cm is obtained quickly, which is very useful in future construction industry development. This toll road may look simple, but it's complicated. Using Autodex Civil 3D on highway modeling, we can make civil infrastructure building design faster and better, especially for resulting output. For structural design and MEP, we use Autodex Revit, which can display 3D visual, shop drawings, and quantity output. By Autodex InfraWorks, we can see visualization like real by combining structure and infrastructure discipline. With Autodex Navis work, scheduling and sequencing of work can be easily done and understood. Not only that, cost detection can also be checked using Navis work to prevent redoing and reworking. Hydrological analysis using Hecris is useful to see scoring, flood water level, and runoff that occurs in the Wampu River. From the result of the Hecris analysis, the MEB is obtained at 11.27 meter. The freeboard requirements that are allowed by BBWS are for the 1.5 meter Wampu Bridge from MEB Q100. Scoring that occurs from deep analysis 5.6 meter. So it is necessary need a cover dam to avoid scoring the pillars. BIM can assist in the operation and maintenance space by preparing an as-built model which contain much information such as date of manufacture and date of installation. We use BIM 360 as common data environment to coordinate between stakeholders during the digital construction process. BIM model is submitted to stakeholders through workflow approval on BIM 360 so that stakeholder can review the BIM product. GIS dashboard can integrate our data as a digital twin in an online platform where stakeholders can view geospatial data combined with BIM, orthophoto, progress photo, project video, and CCTV models up to the monthly progress curve and remaining time. Implementation of BIM for cost efficiency is very possible. In this case, BIM can calculate the volume requirements for changes to the old box cover design with the letters, especially the addition of piles and several other changes. Thus, the need for changes or addition cost can be predicted. BIM for time efficiency can be seen from the difference in conventional processing time which is longer compared to working using BIM. Because by BIM, highway or structure work, MEP work, and output quantity can be done simultaneously. BIM means more than just using the technologies. It is about how we properly integrate the people and technologies. This project shows that implementing Lean using BIM in the design works contributes significantly to project efficiency. To be the world leader in the construction industry.